Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my unicorn shoulder things for my jester armor. So be prepared, this is very chaotic and I had basically no idea what I was doing and followed the Jessica Negri recommended way of building stuff, which is chaos. Don't forget there's also a pattern available for this, I'll link it down below, and uh, happy watching! Pardon the not as great audio, my iPad died, which means I can't use my microphone, so we're just using my phone for this. This is more a time lapse than anything of how I made the unicorn head shape. I will go ahead and tell you that to attach it to the actual base of the armor, I just used Velcro, which was hot glued into the inside of the unicorn head. But as for how I actually made the unicorn horn, I purchased a Pepecura file off Etsy.com. Once I got everything cut out, I assembled it. And then from there, I basically drew on my pattern. For Pepecura, what you're going to want to do in order to create a pattern is draw along the largest seam lines so that you have more of a space that you can do with the foam. You don't want to try and have a ton of itty bitty tiny pieces. For some things that works and is necessary, but for something like a horse head, you need a lot of pieces that are larger that you can curve as you assemble them together, which is what I did. After that, I cut out my entire pattern, flattened it, transferred it to two millimeter craft foam, and because this entire thing was going to be covered in warbler, I didn't worry about how I was going to attach the pieces, so I hot glued them all together. I do not recommend doing that unless you are covering them because the hot glue is very noticeable on foam because it just oozes out everywhere. So it doesn't look great unless you're going for something that has kind of that texture. From there, again, I covered the entire thing in warbler and I didn't film any of this because it was just a pain in the butt to try and film, but after I covered the entire thing in Warbler, it was still really bumpy. So I went back over and I dremeled a ton of the edges down. Any places that had weird dips, I wound up putting foam clay in and used water to smooth that out to make it so it was a little bit more flush. I used the larger Yaya Han half dowels for all of my detailing around the edges. Originally I was going to use two millimeter foam, but then I decided I liked the rounded look a little bit more, made it a little softer, also just added a little bit extra detail. From there, I sketched on my rough idea for how the different shapes that are on the unicorn head would actually go onto the unicorn, and I roughly made my shapes on the foam itself, um, and then lined it up where all of my marks were, and from there just glued everything on. To attach the unicorn horns that I had 3D printed, I used extra scraps of warbler to just kind of go around the horn, smooth it out, and cement it in there really securely. Be very careful if you're ever doing anything like this because you have to have a heat gun in order to use Warbla and I nearly melted my horns um, because they don't do well with that kind of intense extreme heat. And then from there, I painted everything, sealed it with acrylic sealer, and that was it. So I hope this kind of helps. This is more of a how the heck you make like Pepecura stuff into 3D objects. And again, the pattern for the unicorn head will be linked in the information below. So thank you.